You know, the, the second concerto by Rachmaninoff is well loved and much visited by most every pianist. For very good reason. First of all, being a pianist himself, Rachmaninoff had this uncanny ability to combine extraordinarily finger busting virtuosity in a way with wonderful tunes. I mean, he's just a great tunesmith. So these soaring romantic lines just envelop you and, and you know, they're completely delicious. But from a pianistic point of view, it always sounds clear because he knew how to make stuff sound on the piano. And what I mean by that is it doesn't sound like it was written for any other instrument. It is specific to the best qualities if you can master the virtuosic the requirements of what the piano can produce. Luckily, in Bezod Abduraimov, we have someone who is able to laugh at the technical um, challenges and deliver the kind of singing and playing um, despite all of the technical challenges that you just sort of forget the instrument and listen only to the music and that of course is always the goal. Um, remember also that this was uh, the early 20th century, right? Um, but Rachmaninoff had in mind Philadelphia Orchestra sound and Stokowski was one of the great masters of the romantic line as a conductor. Um, and Rachmaninoff, of course, despite his time in the, in the United States, was very Russian. When he wants to put his heart on his sleeve and he wants to wring your emotions, he knows how to do that. And of course, he does it brilliantly. <laughs>